Wow. So we got the Samsung Galaxy XR. So we've been using the MetaQuest 3s on the channel for a while. I've got three to four guys, depending on the week, working for me, and we all have them. We can actually meet in the metaverse, which is fantastic. And so I've actually fallen in love with VR, which is something I never, ever thought I would be saying. So when I heard Samsung was making one that kind of can compete with the Apple Vision Pro, I was really excited, and when they were announced, I immediately picked one up, so it's here. I'm excited to give Samsung VR a try for the first time, and just to give my first impressions, you saw the unboxing. Now, what I don't think is super interesting is it's all based around AI. They're making these devices as a new way to interact with AI, which I kind of get it, but I'm not gonna be putting this on to plan my trip to Hawaii, for instance which is kind of how they set it up in their keynote. But for meetings, for gaming, the biggest things I'm gonna be looking for here because I know nothing about this headset other than what I briefly saw in the keynote is does it look better than the MetaQuest 3? Is it higher resolution? Honestly, that's the biggest thing I wish the MetaQuest 3 had was higher resolution. And then just power, like the snappiness, the ease of use. Is it finicky? Does it stutter a lot? Or is it very good? So another big thing is like pass-through, like how good are these cameras going to be on the front of this thing? I mean, it looks gorgeous, like don't get me wrong. It looks well designed. It's actually fairly light. That was the first thing I noticed was actually how light it is. There's a lot of similarities here between this and the MetaQuest, for instance. The first thing I noticed, I haven't actually booted it up yet. I'll do that here in a second. When I put it on, it's comfortable, but there's a lot of light coming in through here. It doesn't actually rest on my cheeks, which is probably a good thing. And you have these like optional pieces you can take off here to have a more like open experience, but then I'm seeing like all of this. So I'm gonna opt to put these on to get that more closed in experience. I love a good magnet. This has magnets in quite a few different places, which is pretty cool. But I will say just the light leaks are something I immediately recognize. Also, all the pressures on my forehead and on the back of my head, there's nothing on my cheeks, which might actually be a good thing. I don't know, it'll take some getting used to. A lot of the MetaQuest is right here and that's where all the pressure is, so I don't know. It just looks so well designed and I'm honestly just really excited to give this a try. There's cameras on the bottom there, there, it looks like there's vents everywhere, cameras on the front, on the top. You've got two different button interactions. I saw in the keynote you can tap to do pass-through, so that's similar. But without further ado, it's gonna be more exciting for me, less exciting for you. Let's get this plugged in and boot it up and give our first impression. All right, I think we're plugged in there. Okay, secured by Knox. So the first thing I'm noticing is it's not quite lined up with my eyes yet. Powered by Android XR. I'm trying to get like the fit right on my head. It feels a little weird. Okay. I also have the windows behind me, so I'm seeing a lot of light coming through there. Okay. I'm in pass-through, which looks very good actually. 
like very good. All right, it's showing me how to position it on my head. Ooh, press the top button to align the headset's lenses. Okay. Oh, I guess it's aligning it for me. For what? Ooh, this keyboard looks really nice. It looks like a Logitech keyboard, which is kind of funny. So I think what's bothering me is like you have to be like really like positioned perfectly, and I don't know that I love that. So the back of my head is flat on this side, so things naturally like go to one side or the other. There's a lot of setup here. I'm gonna try to go through this and once I'm ready I'll come back to you guys. Huh. It is just okay. Not as great as I thought it was going to be. I just kind of clicked around the menus, got logged into everything, signed into YouTube, watched a video. The fact, let me see if I can, so look at the lens size difference here. This is the MetaQuest and this is the Samsung. The MetaQuest just has a larger like lens it's a it's a wider depth of field this just feels very narrow and it has to be like perfect on your eyes which if you've watched this channel before you know like i've tried out xr glasses and stuff in the past like x real or vitcher and, and, and places like that and because my eyes aren't perfect i don't know if one's further back one's further forward if they're off or something but a lot of times up here is very blurry and it's the same here and I can't get it to where that's not the case in here which is really frustrating and because it's such a narrow field of view like it has to be sitting perfectly to get that sort of real surreal experience and this isn't doing it it's actually been really hard but I need to charge it up I don't know I'm not super stoked my battery's about to die on this camera so I'll come back to you all with my full thoughts here in a little bit all right I've got a bit of a red spot here because what I've found is like in order to really lock it in to where it needs to be it has to be super tight which is annoying I don't know if I've I've said it to the team before because we we talk about you know VR and XR and all this stuff and I think the company doing VR best right now is meta and I'll tell you why. Like product aside, materials aside, experience and like power aside, Meta started with the idea of the metaverse. There's something very special about when you put on a VR, a virtual reality headset, being able to go somewhere else. And I don't mean just like standing on top of Yosemite and like looking around or climbing Mount Everest or being in a rainforest and hearing the sounds and stuff. I mean like being in a virtual reality. And so Meta went about VR with the metaverse. And when you put on the MetaQuest headset, you can go to all these different worlds that people have created, these different experiences. You can sit in a room where we do our meetings, for instance, in the workspace or something like that, I think it's called. When we're done with our meeting, we can hop into a game together and play a fully immersive VR game. And the thing that I noticed with Apple Vision Pro and this is this feels like an Android phone strapped to your face now not that simply like it is immersive it's 3d there's panels floating around in front of you but there's no sort of connectivity with anyone else it's just like i have entertainment floating in front of me that i can choose from there aren't a ton at least what i found in the play store it's not really geared toward vr games yet i'm sure a lot of companies who have made games for MetaQuest will hop over to this apple vision pro things like that but i don't know it just doesn't feel like the experience i got when i first hopped into the MetaQuest, and that i still get when i go there now I know it's not all about that, but a lot of times on this channel we just talk about like the experience of using products, even over specs and things. This is a very powerful headset. The chips in this, the cameras, the lenses, though I wish they were quite a bit wider and bigger. This is powerful and when games come to it, you're going to be able to play them and it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. The controllers here are very similar to the MetaQuest controllers as you can see there. So there's a lot of similarities there as well. It's just not quite the experience I wanted. There's some like physical limitations, the lens size, I'll keep saying it over and over again because it does inhibit my ability to experience this and feel immersed in it. And then there's just like software limitations in terms of like where do me and my friends go to hang out in here? We have to like 
all download an app and go there probably instead of it just being baked into what this product is there's not a room I can visit my friends in. I have to use an app for something like that. So I don't know, my, my first impressions are not great of this. And I feel like they're very similar to the Vision Pro. My first, you know, reaction there was like, this is neat, but like what? And again, my use case might be different than yours. Obviously you can play Xbox in here, you can play Steam games in here, I'm assuming. So there's like some aspects that like carry over. I do wish you can control the eyes and like where the lenses sit. I'm not seeing like a physical control there. It looks like software, but I don't know. I, you know, we're very privileged here to get to review new tech and things. And this just isn't something that I'm gonna wanna keep around. Honestly, I've mentioned it before too. Like I think tech is so you, you, you these days and personal that there's not a lot of we and us and how we experience things together. It's how I personally experience tech and things like this where you put on something that blocks out the rest of the world and you just do what you want to do. I don't know. It's not great. At least MetaQuest like tries to, to bridge that gap with different worlds you and your friends can hop into and you can meet people and stuff like that so anyway yeah Samsung Galaxy XR awesome looking well built well designed there's a few things I would change about the design but fantastic chipset like really premium tech product it just for me at least upon first unboxing and first impressions misses the mark and that's sad because it costs like two thousand dollars to get this and the controllers so anyway that's gonna do it let me know your thoughts on this should we keep it around should we do some more testing with it do you have any questions that we could answer in the comments down below let me know if you want me to do a MetaQuest 3 video because we really enjoy using those here at the studio so yeah on this channel we talk about tech that marries form and function we like tech that improves our lives and looks good while doing so we'll never review a product we don't think is worth your time so, this might be for some of you out there, just not for me. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, like this video for more, like it, watch this video next. I think you're going to love it, and we'll see you all in the next one. Ugh.